Jose de San Martín, Liberator of Argentina, Chile, and Peru. It all started in Papayu, Argentina. February 25th, 1778. Jose Francisco de San Martín was born. His father, Juan de San Martín, was a professional soldier and administrator of Yapayú. His mother, Gregoria Martores, was Spanish. And here his house lays in a museum. Point. The family moved back to Spain when he was six. Sailing. Sailing. Madrid, Spain. From 1785 to 1789, he studied at the Seminary of Nobles. Madrid to Murcia, Spain. Please drive to the highlighted route. At least they had Mustangs back then, if not cars. At 11 years old, he began his military career as a cadet in the Murcia Infantry Regiment. For the next 20 years, he served as a loyal officer to the Spanish monarch, in which he fought against the British in 1798, who held him captive for more than a year. He fought against the Portuguese in the War of the Oranges since 1801. Last but not least, he fought against France in 1806. By 1811, he was made Lieutenant Colonel. Sailing. We are now here at Buenos Aires, Argentina. In 1812, he resigned from the Spanish army to join patriotic forces at Buenos Aires in his homeland, Argentina. After proving his loyalty and abilities, he was made colonel. He founded the Regiment of Mountain Grenadiers, and later in the same year of 1812, he married Maria de los Remedios de Escalada. February 3, 1813. San Martin's regiment fought against the Spanish at the Battle of San Lorenzo. He was appointed commander of the Northern Army in 1814. For the next three years, he recruited and trained his Army of the Andes before starting his main campaign. By the end of 1816, he had an army of approximately 5,000 men, including a healthy mix of infantry, cavalry, artillerymen, and other support forces. He was very detailed in his planning, such as in getting weapons, preserving food, and even all the horses had shoes and blankets in his army. The Campaign, Part 1, Chile we have now arrived at Chile. In January 1817, San Martin led his army of Argentines and fugitives into Chile for a surprise attack on the Spanish forces located there. He then captured and occupied Santiago. A factor that contributed to this was that the Spanish were given false information by the native allies who ended up playing both sides. San Martin crossing the Andes. By May 1818, San Martin was preparing to conquer Peru. Campaign Part 2, Peru We have now arrived at Peru. Despite the shortage of funds, after two years, San Martin assembled a Chilean navy under command of Thomas Cochran by August 1820. The fleet blockaded the port of Callao and landed troops near Pisco, where they threatened Lima, Peru's capital, on land. A year later, he was able to occupy Lima and in July 28, 1821, San Martin proclaimed Peru's independence from Spain. He had a meeting with General Simón Bolivar in July 26, 1822, in Guayaquil to negotiate the incorporation of Guayaquil into Peru. San Martin, however, was not successful. He held a very insecure position as the Spanish forces were still in the mountains. His position as the protector of Peru was very controversial, as some adored him while others wanted him out of the country. And in September of 1822, he resigned his position, life in exile with his daughter in Boulogne-sur-Mer, France. He passed away on August 17, 1850. This is his mausoleum, José de San Martín, his legacy. San Martín is hailed as the greatest national hero of Argentina and for leading South America into independence. I heard of the revolutions in South America and forsaking my fortune and my hope, I desired only everything to promote the liberty of my native land. Jose de San Martín
created using Powtoon.